all of my dear students welcome to my channel learning hub so in my previous video we i started with data handling chapter in which i covered all the data types in this chapter i will be covering operators uh, this chapter will contain only arithmetic operators and that is unary and binary operator so arithmetic operators basic arithmetic operators are plus minus multiplication division flow division and mode so arithmetic operator is further divided into unary and binary operator unary operators are those operators which need only one operand binary operator are those operators which need two operands suppose binary operator if i have written 2 plus 3 so s 2 is one operand and 3 is another operand and this is operator that means the the this is binary operator this operator is binary operator as it has two operands suppose i have written minus 2 in this case as only one operate operand is there that is why this is unary operator suppose i have written a is equal to 2 b is equal to minus minus a hence this is unary operator as it needs only one operand in this case i have written a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 c is equal to a plus b as it needs two operands hence this is known as binary operator so i'll give an example of all the operators suppose a is equal to 10 b is equal to 3 suppose we can write this addition we can do this is a simple program which will print addition of two numbers so this is the operator these are operand this is binary operator the so result will be obviously this is suppose output screen the result will be 30 now the next thing is suppose i want to use i want to subtract two numbers a minus b as this is 10 minus 3 is 7 that will be stored in c when we are printing when we will print c so what will be printed 7 will be printed similarly we can use multiplication operator so what will be printed 30 will be printed when we will use division operator now in all the three case that is addition subtraction and multiplication all three cases if the two operands are integer both the operands are integer the result will be integer if one operand suppose we are using multiplication and one operand is float another one is integer the output will be always a float value that means implicit type casting will be done due to which the result will be float value but in case of division division suppose we are dividing a by b if this is integer and suppose in b i have used i have stored 2 and we are dividing 10 divided by 2 is 5 then also 5 then also 5.0 will be printed not 5 so division always return a float number either we are using integer operands or we are not using integer operand in both the cases the output will be a float value now if suppose we are using we are storing 3 in b now if we are uh, running the program we are executing the program the output will be 3. Point 3 3 up to 16 decimal places so if we talk about 3.5 7.4 version so decimal point will be up to 16 digit so and um, so when we are using division so output will be always a float number the next thing is flow division flow division is an operator that always return the it truncates the decimal part suppose we are using this is 3 10 this is 3 and if we are using float division so output if we are dividing then output will be 3.333 or whatever but when we are 
using both operand as integer, the output will be only 3, not 3.0. But when we are using one operand as float value and another one as integer value, in that case, output will be 3.0. It will truncate the decimal portion, but it will embed it 0 with it. So, when we don't want 0, we don't want 0, in that case, both should be integer value. In that case, decimal will be truncated and no 3.0 will not be printed. Rather than that, 3 will be printed. Next operator is mod operator. Mod operator returns the remainder. Remainder means, suppose we are dividing 10 by 3. 3 3s are 9. The remainder is 1. So, if we want to print remainder, we use mod. In this case, the output will be 1. So, now I will quickly demonstrate this on my laptop. Students, now I will demonstrate yeah, the use of all arithmetic operators. This is the uh, program which I have already written for you. I will open it, add it with ideally and then add it with ideally. So this is the program. So simply add two numbers, subtract two numbers, multiply, divide, flow division, flow division of decimal numbers that is float numbers and then finally remainder. So I will run this program and then I will explain it. To run it we can use F5 key, function F5 key. See, this is the output. So simply 7 plus 3, 10, 7 minus 3, 4, 7 into 3, 21, 7 divided by 3. Now, uh, in division, if we are using integer number or we are using float number, that is the number which have decimal point. In both the cases, the output is always a decimal number, that is float. It will typecast integer into float. And we have the output will be up to 16 decimal places. You can count the output. Uh, see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So up to 16 decimal places output will be there. Now next slide is flow division. Flow division truncates the decimal value. But when we are working on integer, the output will be only the quotient that will be there when we divide the two numbers. Suppose in this example, 7 divided by 2, if we do normal division, quotient will be 2 and remainder will be 1. So only quotient will be printed. But when we uh, use this, uh, when we are working with float number, that is 7.0, flow division 2, virtual flow division 3, in that case, uh, the if we divide 7 if uh, we divide 7 by 3 the output will be 2.333 uh, for 15 times and then 5 as you can see there in this line this line so but in this case it will be truncated and converted to 0 the output will be 2.0 so and uh, next line also here we the dividend the, in this case, the dividend was float and this case, the divisor was float. In both the case, either, either divisor is float or dividend is float. In both the cases, the output in output will be the float number with the decimal portion truncated means 0 0.0 will be there. Now, the next line is 7 mode 3. This operator is mode operator that is percentage sign. It returns the remainder means 7 divided by 3. When we divide it, the quotient is 2 and remainder is 1. So, remainder will be printed. So, my dear students, I hope you understood this concept. Uh, I will cover relational operator in my next video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Goodbye and have a nice day.